<laughs> it's our final evening at Kaingo and they've put on a special spread for us. Folks, uh, welcome to Nakedi Boma. Um, tonight's quite special. Right from the wood through to what we're going to serve you for dinner. It's a boss course evening. It's it's bush food basically. <laughs> Just looking at the scorpikes. <laughs> they're, 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 they're dishing up something called scorpike, which is Afrikaans for tortoise or turtle. They don't look like turtles. They look like turtles. <laughs> something that rhymes with tur. <laughs> you call it a torty. That's what they're they're liver, what are they? Liver and onion. There's liver, liver and onion. onion and spices. Liver and onion spices. Mixed secret wrapped, spices. Wrapped in a sausage. Yeah, sausage. Yeah, sausage. It's really, really tasty. If you if you haven't had it before, please try it because I promise you, you haven't lived until you've had a school bike. It's like a hamburger patty. It's incredibly it's filling. filling. But it's all, nah, huh? really and you, on the menu, we have got Impala Foyki. <laughs> Mixed vegetables. And then we've got pap tart and pot bread. The sasatis are impala with apricots and peaches. Token tasting shot. I'm going to try one of these dreaded school bikes. Dreaded ones. <laughs> really nice. Yeah. I'm not crazy on liver and bits of insides and stuff. It's just really nice. <laughs> We're on our, the second part of our trip through the northern parts of South Africa. We have left the Waterberg. We're now traveling east, northeast, towards the Great Kruger National Park. Of course, the Kruger National Park is the vast uh, wilderness uh, conservation area that South Africa is very, very proud of, and that justifi justifiably so. We're going to be traveling in our two land cruisers with two caravans to on a new four-wheel drive trail. Funnily enough, they're actually launching this month. It just so happens uh, that we just made a few calls letting them know that we were on our way and they said, wow, isn't that amazing? Why don't you come and try our new trail? I understand that it's a 24-hour trail, which is perfect for us. I don't think that the terrain is going to be particularly challenging for the vehicles. Probably more challenging for me personally because caravanning is not something that I have done very much of. In fact, I don't even particularly like the idea of caravanning. Now, as you've seen from the previous part of the show or previous episode, uh, we've been spending a lot of time uh, in luxury accommodation. I've enjoyed that very, very much. This is about as, what we're gonna do now is about as luxurious as you can get while out camping in the bush. So I'm gonna give it a go and see if I like it. Before coming on this trail, I visited a racetrack to learn something new about high-speed towing. After just a few hours of burning around the track, I learned this. No matter how good the towing vehicle and no matter how well designed the trailer, as this combination is, if they are loaded badly, towing can become downright dangerous. Today's experience particularly with this vehicle on this racetrack has reminded me on when these new vehicles these new models come out every year I am absolutely amazed on what the manufacturers have achieved look at this vehicle this vehicle will go around this track admittedly not as quickly as a saloon car but really quickly but the vehicle is so well mannered while driving fast on a twisty racetrack there are no surprises, it's balanced, I can drive it quickly, and now from what I've learned today I can drive it even quicker. Amazing how the stability control detects if there is a trailer attached to the back of the vehicle. And the moment the trailer came out of line, the instant it came out of line, 
you heard a blip, 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 and the vehicle pushed back into line, automatically, all on its own. And I understand, in fact, that the, that the, the mechanism is linked to the electrics. So if you get a cowboy fitting a tow bar to this vehicle, it's probably a bad idea, because if it's not done properly, it's very likely that the, it won't work. The sensors sense that you've got a trailer, know and sense if the trailer has lost its line and the stability control brings it back. Absolutely astonishing. Now traveling west to east, we're heading to what's known as the low felt, low being low altitude. We, the Waterberg is actually sitting at average height of around 4,000 feet, whereas the low felt sits at an altitude of approximately 2,000 feet. And we are at this very moment driving down the edge of that escarpment. It's a slow, tortuous, winding drive down. This is Palaborwa, gateway to the Kruger National Park. It's also cruiser country. Or is it? Is this a cruiser country? At Palabora Kruger Gate is where we will meet our guides to take us into the park. Um, over here we have wife Karin. Karin. And Hello. And the and These are our guides coming here. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. Andrew. My name is Lawrence. And Lawrence, Lawrence, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Martin, hello Lawrence. Lawrence. How many people we are, eight. are you in total? Eight. 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 Okay, well I've got... Four, six, eight. That's okay, because I've got an indemnity form for each person. That's right, from a convoy of two cars, we turned into a convoy of five cars. Uh, we have guides with us. Uh, the two Land Cruisers with the, uh, the two um, Jurgen Safari trailers, caravans. We've got um, a, a doctor, who, a veterinary doctor, who's going to be telling us some about a, a lion conservation project he's busy with in the area. And then we've got our good friend Fred from the uh, leopard conservation project. And uh, behind him, uh, yeah, and we've got some friends of ours uh, that build uh, trailers and rooftop tents. So we're a happy family. The two caravans on tow are built by Jurgens. The first is a lightweight called the X-Cape. Being smaller, it seems to me the more practical choice. And then there is its big brother, the Explorer. I have selected the heaviest combination to drive on the trail, the Cruiser 200 and the Jurgens Explorer. The Cruiser, this Cruiser is big. I, I've been trying very hard to get used to its styling and I'm not there yet. But the 200, given a cosmetic going over, can look like this. LA Sport equipped this one, if, as if you couldn't tell, and I think it really looks good. The trail is named after the Malokpeni stream. It's hardly a stream, it's dry at the moment, but you can tell that there's a river there because there's beautiful green tree, line of green trees, winding its way through the dull brown scrub. And that's why it's called the Malopeni Echo 4x4 Trail. Now, to find out what caravan life, bush life, is all about. I haven't really enjoyed towing it here much. Yeah, we'll see. Down. 
Did you enjoy that? Then please subscribe. If you'd like to take our relationship to the next level from just $1 a month to support my productions. Or if you'd like to download everything I've ever made, go to forexoverland.com.